Hi friends, my name is Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my channel is about knitting, crocheting, yarn, fiber arts, uh, maybe some other random videos, who knows. But I've posted um, just one video before this, which was all my favorite 2021 knits. And this is my second video, which I'm going to talk about my favorite knitting tools and accessories. Um, so things like my favorite needles and my favorite storage items um, to keep my yarn and my projects. So if you like knitting content, please like this video and subscribe. And then also follow me on Instagram and Ravelry. Um, my username is by Jen Tran. Um, so I'll start off. I'm going to look at my phone because that's where I listed the stuff I want to show. I don't want to forget anything. So first I'm going to start with my favorite knitting needles. So my favorite interchangeable needle set is definitely these Chiagu needles. Um, they're very popular and so when I was looking around on what the best set was, a lot of people say these and they have not disappointed. So I have the full set of five inch interchangeable metal needles. So it goes from size US2, which is 2.75 millimeters, up to US15, which is 10 millimeters. Um, a couple are on projects right now, so that's why they're not there. And then it comes with three cords. Um, and the cords, I feel like, or the cables, are the best part of these needles. They have no memory, which means like they don't twist up and they like go back to their normal shape. Um, yeah, and they're great. And the joins are super smooth. Um, it's an expensive set, but I think it's super worth it. The needles are sharp, but not too sharp. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend this. I think it's a good investment because you don't have to keep buying needles. But a good way to check like which needles you like is to use the fixed version first, like just like one set for a project and if you like them to buy the whole set. So that's what I did. Um, yeah, and they're great. Also, I bought them from my local yarn shop because I heard that on Amazon sometimes they're fake. So um, yeah, I recommend going to your local yarn shop if you want the set. So then the next set I have, I have one more set, which is, because these only go up to 10 millimeters, I bought a chunky set from Knitter's Pride. So it's their trunk, chunky, well not chunky, it's like called their Dreams interchangeable set. I'll link it in the description. I don't know what they're called. Um, but it has sizes US 13, which is 9 millimeters, up to US 19, which is 15 millimeters. Um, so I use this for my chunky knitting. And they're great too. Their cables aren't as good because they twist up. They have like the the memory. And I don't know. They're just not like the other ones. And this is also a cheaper set. But they're still great. Um, I did have one that broke and I had to rebuy it. So that was kind of annoying. But yeah, I think this is a good option for chunky knitting. And the next thing I want to show is actually this case. So those Nitter Pride needles don't come in a case. Um, so I got this case off Amazon. I'll link it down below, but it's cool. I like keep my stitch markers, my cables, that needle set, and then my fixed needles in here. And I just feel like, yeah, it's perfect. It's a perfect size. It's cute for holding your needles. If you have a set or just fixed needles that don't come with a case, um, definitely recommend that. All right. My next thing that I want to show you is one of my project bags which I have multiple totes and bags that I carry around my projects in because I have so many projects. But this one I just feel like it's cute. It says WIP, which means work in progress. Um, and it's from We Are Knitters. And I got it because I just thought it was, I don't know, really cute and I'm a We Are Knitters fan. Um, and then I bought also their pins. I hope that's focusing. I bought their pins and put them on. Um, but it's also very functional. It has a lot of different like pockets inside and a pocket in the front. So yeah, it's great for throwing a project really of any size. Like I can fit sweater projects in here. Um, and in addition to this, like you want to have something for your notions because the little things would get lost. So I keep mine in this little bag that I wanted to show. It's my Schitt's Creek notions pouch and it says take care of your shit with, with David and Moira and everyone. Um, but I got this from a local store in Seattle, so unless you live in the Capitol Hill area, I don't know if you could find it. Well, maybe. I haven't looked online. Um, but the store is called Standard Goods, and it's in Capitol Hill. But yeah, I would recommend just like getting a Notions pouch in general, or like, that's a good idea too for a gift. Just find pouches for things that your friends do like, um, like other shows and stuff. But I have like my little scissors and needles and, well, darning needles 
and stitch markers and stuff in here and then this goes into my project bag okay next okay this is the best thing i think i have to show wait it's over here hold on Ugh. this is my knitting caddy and so this it keeps my stuff organized on my couch and then also i can bring it around like if i go into the car or up to different rooms but this is actually <laughs> advertised as a diaper caddy on amazon um so yeah if you look through diaper caddies they have tons of different colors and types but i'll link this one below and it's just like the perfect thing for art stuff it has like dividers it has handles um they're cute i put little knitting pins on mine and well i guess some pins aren't knitting related but yeah a lot of them are some are from we are knitters and some are from local yarn shops and then um just to personalize it but i bring it around I think this is so genius. I got this idea from someone, maybe on Instagram, I don't know who, but definitely recommend that. Um, inside my thing, I have some things to show. Oh yeah, where'd my needles go? Oh yeah, I keep my needles in here and it fits perfect. So I have this gauge ruler. It's a square, it's from Etsy. I'll link the shop. Ooh, I hope that's focusing. It says knit and pearl on the top, but it just measures 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. It makes it easier to check your gauge. So yeah, I think that's really helpful. Just like swatching and checking your gauge is so irritating. So getting cute stuff to make it as painless as possible, I think is great. All right, next, this is very, very useful tool, a yarn winder and swift. I think every knitter should have one of these and I just wanted to share it because I know it's hard to see like which one is the best? Um, I don't know which one's the best, but I know this one works well. And it's from Knit Picks, and I got it off Amazon. Um, yeah, and I do recommend this. I've wound many skeins with it, and it worked great. Skeins, skeins, skeins. Um, but yeah, you put it onto your table, and then you use a Swift, which I don't have with me, but I do have one that I bought off Amazon. And I wind up my hanks into little cakes. So if you're, when you buy yarn that doesn't come in a ball or a cake, this is really great. Or if your yarn does come in a ball or cake, but it gets all tangled up, this is like great to rewind it. So I recommend this. Okay, so this next thing is also one of my favorites. Okay, you guys need one of these. It's this neck light that I got, got off Amazon and it's advertised as a reading light. But you put it around your neck and then it has like different lighting options. But it's so helpful for when you're knitting or crocheting um, or like reading a pattern and it's kind of dark. So uh, yeah, like even if it's if it's dark and your boyfriend's watching a movie, then it's great. But also when there's like some light, it's good for your eyes to have to have um, light on it. So my mom always said that to have like really good lighting when you're doing things um, or it will damage your vision. So this get one of these neck lights for sure. It's also been really helpful when I use dark yarns. You can't see what you're doing. Um, okay, the next thing is a sweater defuzzer or like shaver. The brand I got is Conair. I got a pink one. It like shaves your sweaters. So I knit a lot of wool sweaters these days and they're great, but then they pill easily. So after I wear them, just to upkeep my sweater, I just and it takes all the pills off. It's super satisfying. And then all the yarn, you just empty this container and it's great. So you're supposed to lay the, don't do what I did, but lay the sweater flat and then carefully take the pills off. Um, yeah. Again, it's from Conair and I'll link the um, listing in the description. Okay, the next thing, also from Amazon, is these storage bins. So this is what I keep my finished sweaters in. Um, this, yeah, it's so great. It fits so many sweaters. It has an opening on the top, which is what I use to fold them in, and then it has this opening on the side with an op like a clear part so you can see your sweaters and grab them to wear them. Um, yeah, and I think it's great. Um, it's water resistant. It's a closed, so I think it keeps moths out I don't know if it should, it's not airtight so I don't know I guess like my dream would be like a big cedar chest but I think for now 
This is awesome. It keeps my um, sweater super organized in my closet. And I have two of them. Um, okay. Oh, also, it took me forever, like, looking through Amazon reviews for, like, which the best one of these are. Because there's a lot of different brands selling stuff like this. And the one I got, I'm super happy with. Um, it's structured. It stands up. So, I'll link the exact one uh, down below. Okay. The next thing I wanted to show are my cute stitch markers. I have all these stitch markers from one of my favorite Etsy shops, Jackie Bean USA, I think is what it's called. Um, I, 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 my camera wasn't really focusing earlier when I was trying this, but yeah, I have one that's like a llama. Is it focusing? I don't know. Llama alpaca. I have some that are rainbows. I have some that are little plants, a snowman, like here this one's a monstera, um, I have a unicorn one, and I don't know, I just like, having a cute stitch marker really makes your project fun to look at, like it just brings, I don't know, it just sparks joy, you know? Like I feel like a regular stitch marker, like these ones, much make much more sense way more useful but these they just make you happy while you're knitting so yeah i would recommend that um and specifically that shop i think it's great she you can buy a pack of three she always has coupons all right so what i keep my stitch markers in is this coco knits roll so coco knits is like this awesome website that sells knitting stuff and they're like very genius knitting stuff like very intentional <clears throat> so I'll show a couple things that I have from them but this one's an accessory roll so it like rolls out like this so then when you're knitting it sits flat next to you and then each of these compartments open up to things you need so I have like cable needles in one those stitch markers in one and then another Coco Knits item I have is a bunch of these um, project stoppers like you stick them on your needles and like here's an example on my Birkin sweater in progress it's like the needles on hold or the products on hold so then I put these on and it keeps the project from coming off um so yeah I think coconuts has a bunch they're cute they're super functional I just feel like the ones that go on the needles pop off randomly um so these are much better and a couple other things I have from Coco Knits. One is this little bracelet that is magnetic. So like things like stitch markers or darning needles will stick onto it and you put it on your wrist. And then what sticks onto it that I have is this row counter, stitch counter. Um, so yeah, it's so helpful to have a row counter. You need a row counter. It's amazing. Like I wish I had multiple for my projects. Also, I did buy a cheap row counter from either Amazon or from Michaels or something and it broke or like sometimes you would press it and then it would skip a number, which you don't want with something like this that's supposed to be keeping track of your numbers. So I will say the Coco Knits one is better than those cheapo ones. Okay, next, I kind of showed this a little bit, but this is my favorite yarn bowl that I got off Amazon, it's a unicorn. I'll link it you just put your yarn in it um, and that sparks joy okay I'm almost done so I have two books I wanted to show one is knitting and the one's crochet so this knitting one is the Vogue knitting stitch dictionary I got it off Amazon again and it just has so many stitches in it um, it has Basic stitches, color work, cables, lace, there's like a cable page from basic cables to intricate cables. It has the directions on how to do them step by step, like row by row I mean. And then also the chart it has a swatch example of each of them. So if you are into designing or if you're just a knitter at all, I think this is an awesome book. Um, there's a lot of stitch dictionary books, but I don't know, it's cute. It like, even my boyfriend was like, oh, that's a cute coffee table book. So I think that's a good one. Great gift. 
And then my favorite crochet book is this one. Um, it is the Pika Pow Emigurumi. Did I say that right? I don't know. Book. And I just think the characters, like every single character in here is so cute. Um, oh, I don't have the patience for intricate crochet. Like I just want to do mindless knitting and crochet. So I started a unicorn. I couldn't finish it. But maybe someday. It's just so hard to like keep track of all the rows, but like this is the unicorn I really wanted. But we'll see. Maybe I'll come back. But I do recommend this book. It's very clear and the characters are like very unique and cute. Alright, my last item is these slippers that I got. So my friend Ash, which her Instagram is Ash and her knits, got these and then posted them and then I needed them. So there's Saludos. I think it's the Saludos right here. Um, that's the brand. But they're little alpaca slippers. I just think they're so cute. I wear them all the time. They're super warm. And they also have sneakers, like slip-ons, that look like van slip-ons, kind of, with the same alpaca that I also bought. So this is definitely, I don't know, is it knitting-related? Kind of. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of knitters would love that. So those are the, all the things that I... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I almost forgot this one. This is also from Coco Knits, and it's the French Market Bag. And it's so cute. I guess, like, it's, I don't know. It's just so cute. It has handles. And I got the small size. And I just put a bunch of yarn in it and some of my, like, works in progress into it. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think that's it. Hopefully I didn't bring anything, but if I did, I don't know. I'll just bring it up in a different video. Or post it in my Instagram story so yeah please follow me on Instagram I'm starting to design more patterns um, I'm always looking for testers and just friends so if you follow me and I don't follow back I probably didn't see it cause sometimes I miss them they just like get mixed in with likes um, so message me and because I definitely want to follow back and be friends um, and if you like this YouTube, I really want to keep YouTubing. I just, that's one of my goals for 2022. But it would kind of be sad to YouTube and have no one watch. So please like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel. Um, so I'll talk to you next time. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you later. All right, bye.